you know, and what do you say to somebody that, that knows that they're going to die? On March 25th of this year, I lost my dad. After over a year battle with cancer, he died. We were all with him at the time. We took care of him in his last days. And ever since that day, I have carried that day, that week, and there's just this big series of moments that I keep reliving in my head and in my dreams and, you know, even as, as goofy as this beard is, and I know it looks ridiculous, but something about it has been a part of this process. It's It doesn't make any sense, I know that, but I have not shaved and I've been letting my hair grow out since my dad died. And what, what does that accomplish? Nothing. I don't know. In some morbid way, it's become this representation of, of everything that I've been carrying since he died. I was with them when it was supposed to be his last appointment for chemo and radiation. And he would ring the bell and that would signify that he was done. Because his platelets were low, he couldn't get the procedures done. And I knew he was upset. It was the most subtle look. You know, like he would, like he was sorry that it didn't work out. And when you watch somebody that you see as so strong, You know, and what do you say to somebody that, that knows that they're going to die? You know, in this whole experience, I just can't seem to process out of. I can't seem to let go of it. I can't seem to stop reliving all of it. When you carry something like that for so long, God. 